Good morning, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. How are how is everything going? Um, I would like to draw your attention to this little video I made over the weekend about how each zodiac sign wants to be loved. And yes, we did make a mistake, and Cancer was not included in that video, but Cancer gets their own separate video. So both of those things are here. If you want to go check that out today, it might be a good day to understand your mate, your partner, and uh, do something a little nice for them. Okay? All right. Do something a little nice for yourself, too. All right. Let's see where we go. Let's see where we're going today. <sighs> All right. You are perfectly imperfect. Thus one journeys to the stars. A little star seed action here. You cannot pour from an empty cup. This has come out a couple times this last few days for me. And um, I just want to say that when you're doing work like this, okay, when you're, when you're serving um, and you're doing work like this, when there's a lot of people, uh, you're going to need to protect your own energy. You're going to need to be um, good at that, good at that energetic boundary, okay? Because what I feel like might be happening uh, on a smaller or larger scale for you is that since 2012, we are all empathic. We all have that capability. Lots of people shut it down. Most people shut it down. You guys do not shut it down. <laughs> so what you do need to do is protect it though, okay? It can't just be, you can't just be wide open all the time, but you can be welcoming all the time, welcoming and protecting yourself. Um, on our uh, Accelerate Your Ascension group, I feel like I'm going to talk about protection. Same thing with the tarot certification folks this week. I'm going to talk about clearing and protection. Uh, that's happening today, actually, the tarot certification group. If you want to join, there's a link in the description box. Um, this is really important because I feel like our boundaries are a little more porous uh, because we are in service to other people. We are sending love to them. But there are several techniques that can really help you protect your energy and keep you from getting negative attachments or people who are victims around you, people who are, you know what I'm saying, sending out some dark signals. There is such a thing as dark energy. It is not all kindness and light and goodness and light. There is a galactic battle between dark and light, and there has been since time immemorial. So um, it's just time to really understand that since 2008, 2008 and 2012 were two sort of watershed moments. And now we're getting into Saturn moving into Pisces. Pluto is making its ingress into Aquarius this year. Going to make a separate video on that. It'll be like three months this year. And then it goes back into Capricorn. It doesn't go back into Aquarius until next year uh, and stays there for the next 20 years. So whatever happens over the next three months, I think I might have said this yesterday, is going to be a preview of what is going to go on. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not used to having you here, but there's tree stuff going on outside. So it's pretty loud. Um, Whatever, but whatever was going on, whatever will go on these next three months is going to show us what is going to be happening for the next 20 years. And uh, so we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit, maybe, um, maybe next week. I'm going to be traveling next week, so I'm going to do my best to uh, make some videos for you before I leave. And every single uh, video that I make, it's just coming out the stories lines around pluto and saturn seem to be kind of loud all right so you'll get more information in that but i will make a dedicated video to that okay just so you know all right what's going on here page of pentacles underneath there is something to learn about love today and interestingly that it's saint valentine's day as i say this page of wands there's a new idea here king of cups and the queen of swords I feel like some of you are moving away from, wow, okay. All right, enough. <laughs> sometimes it just, sometimes the bottom of the deck speaks to me. And what the bottom of the deck is, and those of you who take my tarot class know this, the bottom of the deck is things that are going on subconsciously for you or things that are going on behind the scenes energetically that you can't really, you're not uh, privy to yet. So I like this page of pentacles. It's almost an ace of wands and the ace of pentacles. It's like turning a new turning a page that is more authentic, more real, 
more freeing, more capable of loving in a different kind of way. And for those of you who have closed your heart, had a lot of challenges around love um, in your life, this is going to be a very good time for for you to reassess because I do feel like there's opportunities coming in for love. And when we do close our hearts to love, we do, we aren't, um, we aren't fully engaged in life if we do that. And <clears throat> yes, self-love is important. Yes. Focusing your resources on that hundred percent, but love of humanity, love of your pets, love of fun, love of love, 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 love. It's not just about romance. Okay. It's much more about the energy that moves things around in the universe. Love makes the world go round. Didn't we say that? Haven't we said that for ever? Um, and I feel like those of us who really have had quite a lot of toxic relationships or abusive relationships or difficult relationships early in our life, I feel like there's going to be some kind of shift where you're going to see the wounds that need to be healed. Some of you are going to ha are having some Chiron activity where other planets are, are pinging your Chiron. Um, some of you are having, um, with Saturn moving into Pisces, Pisces is a very loving energy, very kind and generous energy. But Saturn is like, hey, there needs to be boundaries here. It can't just be wide open. And some of you may have been wide open a lot of your life. Um, and what's going on right now is the universe is saying, um, protect yourself because there are people who want to take your energy, who want to, um, especially in the middle of the night, you're going to need to protect yourself is when you're asleep because your defenses are down. So little prayers to uh, Archangel Michael just to protect me during the night from any energetic um, interlopers would be a good thing to do. Okay, would be a good thing to do. Queen of Pentacles showing up here. Mm, King of Wands like that. King of Pentacles. Oh, oh, look at this. The three kings right in a row here. Hermit, Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups the star energy, the sun energy, and the nine of wands. This is definitely about shining a light on things that need to be healed. So I feel like some of you are meeting a guru or a guide or, or meeting um, a situation that becomes like guidance for you, or you're aware of getting guidance because of a situation. You may have, um, we've got two queens here too, two of the queens, three kings, full house. Um, <laughs> and it does seem to me that there's, um, some kind of urgent activity an urgent need to move things forward an urgent need to make a decision or something like that. But I feel like meditation can really help you right now. The hermit coming in for healing purposes, for joy purposes, for shining a light on that, which you most want to create. This nine of wands says to me that there are still some things that need to be transmuted into wisdom. Some of you could be in a third party situation right now uh, or have one coming up very soon. And it doesn't mean that um, necessarily that anybody's married. What it can mean is that you have a lot of options. So there can be several people showing up who are interested in dating you or, you know, spending time with you or something like a lot. OK, I've been seeing that for a while. Five of Wands, if it shows up, uh, there's going to be a lot of a lot of potential suitors, a lot of potential options for you. I see you showing up as the queen of pentacles. I like that in the king of pentacles here, but this king of wands is super sexy. So at any rate, what's going on here is you're in need of doing some healing work so that you can allow the next phase of your life, whether or not you're choosing any kind of people right now. Okay. Whether you're choosing to, to, uh, step into love again, or you're choosing to, um, get out in the world again or something like that, especially after a couple of years of, of the, what we've had going on. I do think that there is some kind of urgency. This might be, this might be during a, um, a vacation, a trip or something like that, where you're only there for like a week and there's like necessary moments that happen or moments that will happen 
that will be bringing uh, these people to you in a more tangible kind of way, right? King of Pentacles, King of Wands, very tangible. And I do feel like you're looking, you might be looking for someone who is capable of feelings and say, speaking their feelings. Now, King of Wands and King of Pentacles, jury's still out on that. I do think the King of Wands is fire, so there's passion there. The King of Pentacles is somebody who is very stable and solid. Uh, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I see Sag energy. Sag and Leo here. More Leo down here. Aquarius, Virgo. Um, that's a nice kind of, um, the word is smattering, of the energies we're getting. What we're not getting here, there is not, oh yes, there is, right in the middle. I was going to say there's not one sword card. There's two. The Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So this is about fast action and... Um, thinking on your feet in the midst of a lot of opportunity that wants to come in. Um, I am going to clarify, whoops, let me use this deck. I'm going to clarify the Ace of Cups. Just one card, please. Okay. Seven of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. See, another sword card showed up. Five of Cups. Okay. I, I feel like you're trying to understand... Some of these people may already be in your life, okay? I, I feel like with this Page of Pentacles, even though Page is a small card, uh, it is about learning something. So I feel like you might be very defensive uh, because of past situations. And the new thing to learn is how to determine someone's on the level. Someone's energy is um, straightforward or honest or whatever you wanna say th before the cup is offered or before the cup is received. You want to learn how to do that. We're learning how to do that. We're learning how to let go of past situations that really hurt us, this Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups, and not painting everybody with a broad brush, not saying that, oh, well, just because you're a Sag means you don't want commitment, or just because you're a, um, I don't know, Aquarius means that you're cold and aloof. People are made up of a lot of other stuff, okay? And I said that in that video on Saturday morning that you are made up of your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, and how all planets are talking to you. Very complex. Very complex. People are complex. So let's not, let's not put people into categories because of, because of their sign or anything like that. But I also want to say that there are ways of now meeting and talking to people who are coming in. Kings are uh, grown up. Okay, we've got a Knight of Wands here, though, and a Knight of Swords. So there's a lot of action. <laughs> there's a lot of action going on here. And I like the two aces. I like the sun. It's like you're just starting out again, just just going down this road of being able to um, connect with another person. The Ace of Swords is not here, though. We have Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. The Ace of Swords, which is the truth. The Knight of Swords is like using the truth to combat okay, to push somebody back. The Queen of Swords is also kind of like, not my way of the highway. That's really much more the Emperor's domain. The Queen of Swords is like, I call them as I see them. I don't sugarcoat things. So there is, there is some kind of sense of like, I don't know how to tell when people are lying because I really did have relationships that made me feel like I was duped in the beginning. And even if they're not lying, lying, lying kind of thing, they're not uh, being honest, okay? And before the cup is given or received, I need to have an assessment of this person's honesty and integrity. I need to also have an assessment of this person's ability to be in relationship long-term or whatever it is that I want. I wanna see if this person is compatible with whatever I want, whatever I need. Now. Queen of Pentacles is the energy very much of being anchored, of being uh, down to earth, but also um, expecting nice things, expecting to be uh, sort of wined and dined, expecting to be, and someone who is really into their home, their hearth, their gardens, their whatever it is. It's just this beautiful energy of, of making a home in some way. This Queen of Pentacles can also be somebody who is working out in the world, not working in the home, but working out in the world and 
in a way that is a very nurturing kind of experience. So they may be, I don't, I don't necessarily feel like this is about a, a charitable or a, um, a philanthropic kind of person uh, energy here. I really feel like this is somebody who has achieved something and is comfortable, okay? Comfortable and stable. King of Pentacles, same way, comfortable and stable. King of Wands, passionate entrepreneurial energy. King of Cups, somebody who is knows their feelings, a masculine that knows their feelings. And I feel like there's there could be somebody who who has to have a bunch of these qualities. It can't just be one person. So it's possible that in the past you might have um, had one person that is ideal in one certain way, but there's a lot missing and you don't really know that until later. I almost feel like what's happening here is the people who are being uh, or in your life right now, you're doing better at overcoming your fear about relationships or your fear about moving forward um, with someone in tow, okay? There's some kind of fear about that because there's been some bad situations in the past. But I feel like now we can shine the light on what we have learned and incorporate that, right? The first thing I said in this reading is about there's something here to learn about love and it has to be done on in I don't feel like you're going to just allow anybody to come in. I feel like, even though there's a lot of opportunity, I feel like this is a very slow kind of situation. The, the Knight of Swords in the middle of this reading as the timing card though is fast moving. And so I feel like there's a, um, a disconnect between slow and fast, how slow you wanna go, how slow I wanna go. And I'm just getting the sense that there's a, um, a little bit of a mismatch. You might come across somebody who's who's much faster than you, who wants to move things along much faster than you, and I feel like that is a red flag. So you are learning when people are kind of not telling the truth about a lot of stuff. So I feel like this is a very healing connection. I love the sun here. I love the nine of wands. Very healing connection. And I like that the king of wands hand is on his heart. He is connected to his feelings as well as his passion. The King of Pentacles also has his hand, but it's a pentacle he's showing. So what is my worth and value? I feel like you're going to get a chance to really kind of suss it out, sort through a lot of opportunities that are coming your way. Opportunities for, even if these aren't people, for stability, for creative passion, for something that really makes, you know, you sit up straighter something that really flows with you that you really enjoy so all of these things are coming in there's a new opportunity it doesn't have to be a person it could be an energy coming in and what's interesting here is this nine of wands that when we get to that moment of decision or that moment of um crossroad moment the things you have learned are now tools in your quiver the things the the pain the suffering the ghosting, the codependency, all of those things, it's like they're transmuted into a powerful tool. Okay, and we'll keep going on this. That's really interesting. We're going to keep going on this. I will pull a card for each zodiac sign in the extended just to get a sense of where you're going. There's a lot of opportunity here this morning. And, you know, it's really up to you now, which is always has been. But this is even more with you showing up as that queen of pentacles and this star energy, I just feel like you are in command of this choice, even if you don't feel like it right now. Okay. Okay. Very cool. All right. Link is in the description box. If you want to keep coming pathfinders, we're just going to keep on going. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.